All right, people, listen up. The cipher is broken into three sections, each with eight lines and 17 symbols. No breaks between the symbols denoting different words. No numbers or clues to substitution keys. And you got symbols from at least seven different sources. Greek, Morse code, maybe semaphore, weather symbols, astrological signs. Hey, take a gander at this code thing. Okay. You want to give it a go? Jesus, Harold, Christ on rubber crutches, Bobby. What are you doing? You're doing that thing, the thing we discussed, the thing that I don't like. Starts with an L. Oh, looming. Yeah. Looming. No looming. Have you considered the water theory? What do you do for fun? I love to read. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy books. Those are the same things. Why have you been going through my trash? back to that. I didn't know he was going to send another code. I just guessed. Just guessed? The first one seemed too easy. Right, this can no longer be ignored. What is that you're drinking? It's an aqua velva. We wouldn't make fun of it if you tried it. But who actually cracked the code? A married couple who like puzzles. So what's that tell us about the Zodiac? He's no expert. Right, it's just a simple substitution code like the one that we used to do as Boy Scouts. A is one, B is two. We were no Boy Scouts, Robert. Well, it's not that hard. You just got to know where to start, though. In the first cipher. You actually carry that around with you? Why? No reason. What's the most common double consonant in the English language? Consonant? The double L. Double L. And what's the one word that we know that he'll use in here at least once? Kill. Right, kill. So the Hardens start looking for double symbols, which they find here, here, and here, each with the same two symbols preceding them. So now they've got a repeating four-letter word ending with two symbols that they assume stand for L. And since I think the whole word is kill. And you got your K, you got your I, and you're on your way. But how do you go from A is one and B is two to figuring out this whole cut? Well, same way I did. You go to the library. Yeah, some of this stuff is pretty creepy. Yeah, we're not. I mean, creepy like Lee. He, he misspells words like that. He thinks it's funny. What about the handwriting? I don't know. Don't you have experts for that stuff? Our man at Question Document says it's inconclusive. Maybe he did it with his other hand. The letters are a little too neat for someone to have written with the wrong hand. But not for Lee, right? What do you mean? He's ambidextrous. He can write with either hand. This one. What about it? Here, where he spells Christmas with two S's. We got a Christmas card from Lee a couple of years ago. He spelled it the exact same way. Christ Mass. Would, would you still have that? Uh, I can look for it. Thank you. That'd be great. Is there anything else we can do to help? Are you OK? No. Thank you for asking. If it was so fucking important, what did you ever do? You hovered over my desk, you stole from wastebaskets. Am I being unkind? Oh, that's right, I forgot. You went to the library. And he said that you might be able to help. I mean, the case is dead. Zodiac's long gone. He's yesterday's news, right? That's what they say. So what's the harm? Zodiac left gloves behind at the scene. If he had the foresight to bring gloves with him, how the hell is he going to accidentally leave a print behind? But it was in the victim's blood. Could have been one of the bystanders, or a cop just reaches out, boom, false print. Yeah, I think maybe when he was in the service. Maybe? I think so. Was he into movies? Was he a movie buff? I can tell you that he was not into people.